Callum FA Youth Cup begins on Monday. First and foremost, I want to take it as personal as possible. How special is it for you to be leading a team into the FA Youth Cup? Yeah, um, you know, obviously it's the, the biggest competition we can be in. Um, as much as we had a good start with the league, this is one that, you know, all the lads are looking forward to. And for me, yeah, um, I'll probably be the, the proudest manager in terms of the do the club co club sides in the competition. So, uh, no, looking forward to it very much so. Let's talk about the start to the season. Seven in seven. Last season, your team didn't lose a game. You're not loose, used to losing <laughs> either. So, you must be really confident going into it. Without jinxing it. Um, so we started well this year. If we're honest, we've in terms of, of how we've done and how we've played this season, we're actually playing better football this season than we did last season. Playing better sides, obviously with the with two leagues above now competing in the, the Premier Division as the, the youth side. But yeah, we're we're confident going into it. Seven wins is great, but we've we've got to carry it through. You know what I mean? There's there's no point winning winning these games to go into this game and um, and not perform really. AFC Blackpool is the tie away. You had a big following going down with you. What do you know about AFC Blackpool? What's it like? How do you, how do you scout a youth team? Well, um, you know, you, you've got to use who you know. You know what I mean? I've had I've had someone, not so much watching them watching them closely. It is slightly more difficult to do at youth level. Um, we've asked our questions. We know where they've been competing, where they play. Um, but for me, it does sound a cliche, but it's about doing what we do well. You know, we've got the belief, particularly in our dressing room, that if we do what we do well, we'll certainly be taking a result. Tell us a bit about your team because it's a mixture, isn't it, of 18-year-olds and 17-year-olds, two age groups. How will you be selecting your team? Yeah, we um, we took the the Colt side from last year. We carried those through to, to the youth team, obviously, the, the successful Colt side from last season. Lost a few, signed a few, and we promoted some, what are now under-17s, who you know, we've, we've obviously got high hopes for. In terms of the, the squad, it's been selected, the 16. Um, it'll obviously, I'm not, not going to name any names yet. Um, well, not in, in too much detail. But it's, it does include some under-17s, which is great. You know, it, it demonstrates that we will put a bit of faith in the, the younger youth lads, and you know they can carry us through as well. Have you got FA Youth Cup targets? Is there an expectation last year? You know, into the first round proper against York here. Is there an expectation for you to, to take it one step further? I think you know we're we're all going to have our own personal targets and and where we we'll want to go. For me, the the main thing is that the lads represent the club as well as they can. Which you know, anyone that knows our lads knows that we can guarantee that. You know, we play proper football. We'll get the ball down. We'll pass it, and we'll demonstrate that we're in this to compete against against good sides. Now, I'm not going to sit here and say that. You know, I can tell by your face you want me to sit here and say that we're going to win it. Um, no, the first round proper would be nice, but we want to compete. Um, and as I say, take every game as it comes and. Um, and go out and, and see where we can get results, really. Has there been the chat yet about potentially drawing a Manchester United or a Liverpool in, in the later rounds? Well, it's interesting. Uh, we sat down the other night, actually, and we were talking about it, a few of the lads, and everyone's obviously got their own um, their own ideal ties. We've heard some strange one. Cambridge was one. I think one of the lads mentioned Cambridge um, as a, a sort of random one. We've had a Man City. You know, um, big games, really, that, that obviously everyone wants, isn't it? And away fixture against the big side. But for now, it'd be... Um, extremely you know improper and unprofessional to start talking about sort of second and third round ties we've got AFC Blackpool on Monday we need to get a result there and then we've got two more qualifying rounds after that before we can even start talking about football league side so very much feet on the ground we, we need to focus on Monday and we need to try and take the points from uh, well not take the points take the win from uh, from Monday's game really and what about the lads in your team what kind of an experience is, is the FA Youth Cup going to be it's something that's totally and utterly different to, to the league the, the day in day out the bread and butter what's this going to mean to them well, you can tell. I think the, the smile on my face says a lot about what they'll be feeling as well. Um, it's special, you know. It's the opportunity to, to represent the club in what is the most prestigious youth competition in the country. Um, and for them, yeah, it's, a, it's an hell of an experience. You know, we'll be travelling from here. It's, it's shirt and ties, club ties, and it's the opportunity for for them to, as much as they they represent the club every week, they are representing our football club. A lot of people won't know, you know, the ins and outs of your team, but one player they will know from his involvement in the first team is Tom Piers, and you're going to have him available for the tie. Yeah, um, Tom will be in the squad on Monday. Obviously, it's it's um, a shame to talk just about one player. Obviously, we've got a lot of players who are in good form at the moment. Um, and obviously, Tom's been in good form at Northwich. But we've had lads who have um, more than done well in the, the youth side. So, um, no, we're, fingers crossed, we're, um, we're looking good for Monday. The million-dollar question everyone wants to know is, uh, are you going to do it Monday? Um, if we play as well as we can and we set up properly and we achieve the standards that we have achieved and we continue to hit, then the confidence in myself, the confidence in the team and the confidence that we've got in each other, then um, we can go and get a result on Monday. Callum, I'm sure from everyone at Chester Football Club, we wish you all the best on Monday night. Thanks very much, Dan. Thank you.